Hi, my name is Mahmoud, and in this lecture, we will start by creating our virtual environment. Let's start. First of all, I'll open the terminal. If you're using Windows, you can open CMD, or if you're using Linux, you can open the terminal. I'll go to the tutorials desktop first, then the tutorials folder. This is folder I used to create the projects of my tutorials. Then I'll create a new virtual environment virtual env dash b for python i'll use python 3.6 then i'll call this virtual environment django dash uremi then hit enter now virtual environment is creating our virtual environment on the tutorials folder let's open it Django Udemy, this is our version of, no, it's not this, yeah, this is it, Django Udemy. Now we have our, our version environment, let's go into it, cd Django dash Udemy, let's clear the screen. Now we're in the virtual environment, we need to activate our virtual environment using source bin slash activate this is works on Mac and Linux but if you're using Windows you can uh, enter dot slash scripts slash activate now we're activating our virtual environment it's time that we create our project but first we need to install Django so I'll write dip install Django this will install the latest version of Django in our virtual environment Django always comes with PYTZ, this is module for localization. Yeah. Now we have Django and the PYTZ already installed, successfully installed the Django. On this tutorial we will use 2.1.4. Okay, let's clear the screen. Let's see our the package is installed in this virtual environment using pip freeze. Now we have Django and the BYTZ. First, I'm using a layout for the Django project according to the Django documentation. I'm gonna create a folder with the name of source, so I'll let mk there src. I think this is one of the best ways for Django layout project layout. mk the src. This is our project folder. So I'll go into this folder cd src now i'm going to create my django project django admin start project then i'll call this project with name of project i always use this name and all my projects so that i can move apps from one project to another and so on i call all my projects with the name of project now if we created this let's hit enter if we enter the src folder we will see a project and if we open this folder we will see our project files I don't need this actually I wanted the project files in the src folder no more nested folders so I'm gonna delete this then I'll rewrite the same command but I'll, I'm gonna add the dot which stands for the current directory then I'm gonna hit enter now we have our project files and src folder okay now we have our project we've just created our Django project let's run the server by some manage the by run server as we can see first of all the Django server created a db this is a so-called light database we will talk about it later then we have 15 unapplied migrations which we should apply them first so that our project can work properly this is what Django tells us and now if you want to apply this migration we will type this command by submerge by that migrate to apply this migration now we have our server development server at this IP address this is our local host let's copy this URL and let's open it in Chrome yeah now we have this is the local host the Django documentation this is tutorial for bowling app which the developers of the Django created it this is the Django community and we have this is 
Django 21 uh, version and we have Django is already installed this is awesome and now if we, if we wanted to open the admin we can hit this URL slash admin and now this will say that we have no such table Django sessions this happens because we didn't run the migrations we have to run the migration first so that these tables can be applied to our database so I'm gonna clear the screen I'll run the server again and we have this Python manage to by migrate okay let's start the server let's type Python manage to by migrate to create this kind of tables but before I create this tables let's first open the database and take a look about this I'll open SQLite browser if you need to install this app you just have to open Google search for SQLite SQLite browser open the first link and that's it you can download the SQLite browser depending on your operating system from this link okay now let's open the database from here open and now let's navigate to the tutorials then uh, Django Udemy then SRC this is our file db.sqlite3 if we take a look at this database in the SQLite browser we can see that we have zero tables there are there are no tables on our database okay let's close it and let's run the migrate command this will create some tables to our database let's open it again to see the created tables I'll hit open database then we will navigate to tutorials Django Udemy SRC DB SQLite 3 oh we have 11 table on our database auth group auth group permissions auth permission auth user and so on we can browse the data of this tables but there's there are no data in this tables okay now if we refresh this link to the admin page the server is not running let's run the server again okay we have the Django administration which asks us for a username and password but till now we didn't create any username or password and the installation or the virtual environment or anyway we didn't create any kind of authentication but actually we need to create a super user for our project so let's clear our screen and let's say Python manage to by create uh, remember that Django commands are uh, uh, there, there are there are no spaces in the Django commands it's like you have to, to create it connected to each other like I'm gonna write Python manage to by create super user like a one word okay uh, it asks me for my name I'll leave it like MacBook the name of the laptop the email address I'm gonna write Python developer at gmail.com this is my gmail actually the password I'm gonna type from 1 to 7 and a and from 1 to 7 and a also Django will tell us that this password is too common but actually I'm, I'll use it this is only for development purposes so we need to create some kind of weak password okay let's run the server again server yeah here we are now let's refresh our page and the let's say it logon this was the Django administration as we can see here we have the users the groups this is actually created by the Django itself the full admin panel is created using Django and we can add users and groups and so on this is the users that we just created macbook with this email address by some developer set at gym, sex at gmail .com. and this is a staff status because this user is a super user or a staff like here this is a super user status and staff states and he is actually active okay and here we can see groups which we can create groups and apply them to some kind of users and so on okay okay now now we've just created our virtual environment we created our Django project then we created we just created our the first super user uh, everything is working fine the, in the next lecture we will start creating our app 
uh, models, views, URLs, and so on. Hope you like this lecture, and see you next one.